No, it doesn't matter too much if we don't do our health checks on all of our seals, like little Selena down here. We do come in here three or four times a day, so we'll get them checked over at some point. Now, I was just wondering, anybody, <laughs> anybody towards the front there, you're actually in the splash zone. The seals do jump very high, they do tend to create a splash zone. Do you want to get wet? Get wet? I suggest that you back a bit. Now, if you'd like to watch this the back, you'll see Marvelo himself is jumping. That was Marvelo, and Zoss is about to jump now. Oh, you're going to get splashed here. Good 
actually doing this. Some of us are the super overhero ever. Really aren't as good at it. They often try and drag us in the pool. So I'll have to be careful when I'm getting them to do it. Go on then. I know it wasn't too bad, toughness. Go on then, hiya. Good boy. Now the reason why we told them to jump through hoops is to demonstrate a natural behaviour called porpoising. In the wild, seals are hunted by large sharks and whales. So it's really important they can come up rare at the same time as swimming forwards. They had to stop swimming forwards to come up rare. It's really not very likely that they'd survive very long. Good boy. Yeah. Now our girls are six years old now, so they're actually fully grown. Our boys, on the other hand, are only four, so they've still got another couple of what? years of growth. What? Even though Dancing. they are really much bigger no, than girls. Six years old. Six they years old. Well, how old are the boys? Are really six and a half. They might mate with our girls. That's actually why we've got the cave over here. Eight Seals come up onto land to give birth. So it's really important that they've got a bit of protection from the weather. They'll see kids back. Good boy. Yeah. So we're feeding our seals today on a really oily fish called herring. It's important that we give them such an oily fish because the temperature of this tank in here is actually exactly the same temperature as the sea just outside. A few months ago it got down to minus 7 degrees, which as you can imagine is really cold for our poor little seals in here. So it's really important they've got a thick layer of blubber to keep them nice and warm. Good girl.
Find Oliver. Send Mum Charlotte. Maybe the wind. Let's see you on the water. 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 Let's see I wouldn't say that for Kim, long way. Lucy. Where's Lucy? Lucy. 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 What's in there? Look at these funny ones, look, like big spiders aren't they in there, look. Look the big long legs. You see them? Look, they've all got long legs, haven't they? Come oh, on, wait for us, Kelly. This way, no go this way. Ready for a second? And I've also got a few peanuts here to give them. Ready for them? 
So these others are called short clawed Asian otters. So you wouldn't find them in our country, they come from Southeast Asia in countries like China, Thailand and Malaysia, that sort of area. Now you might notice that the otters smell a little bit, does anyone reckon the smell? Just a bit? Well, I'm quite used to it now. The reason why they smell is because they're very territorial. So every day they'll go around set them off this enclosure to make it smell like this. And they do it to warn other animals not a trespass in their area. Just a bit of a warning, it's how they communicate as well. They're also very closely related to skunks, weasels, stoats and ferrets, so quite a smelly family of animals too. Now you might notice that artists swimming around a bit before, showing off maybe. And um, these guys in the wild you'll find them in wetland areas like bogs, swamps, marshes, that sort of thing. If you have a look really closely, you might be able to see that they've got webbed feet. And this is how they swim and propel themselves through the water. They also have quite a thick tail, and it means that they can steer them in certain directions. They're also very good at holding the breath usually for about five or six minutes at a time, and they've got very long whiskers so they can sense any movement around them. So that's just a little introduction to our artists. Thank you very much for your patience there. My name's Anne. If you've got any questions about these guys or anything in the aquarium, I'll